Hello guys, it's Game Blaze. I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. So as for today's video, I'm just bringing you a really short video of, of some news that recently came on WCCF Tech by the user Greymon55 on Twitter, okay? So WCCF Tech is posting the post from Greymon55 on Twitter. So it's a reposting and I'm making a video of the reposting of the posting. Of anyway, the user Greymon55 on Twitter is known to bring some leaks that are actually pretty faithful faithful to the, um, to the truth. He knows many things or he has some links of people that know many things, many inside things. And the leaks that he usually puts out uh, tend to be true most of times. And now he's putting a link, let me just use my phone. Basically, he's now putting, uh, putting a post saying that uh, the AI Accelerate should work with FSR 3.0 and other features. This because the RDNA 3 GPUs are bringing AI Acceleration, the same for Zen 4 uh, CPUs, which is very nice. And now we are seeing that FSR 3.0 may be indeed using the same thing as NVIDIA's DLSS. NVIDIA's DLSS needs those hardware parts, those same uh, machine learning cores, those, those those AI cores to actually work properly and do its job. You can't even use the, the, the DLSS if you don't have those cores, okay? So that's a thing. That's a thing for NVIDIA's DLSS. The big thing about the, the FSR 2.0, which is currently being released for more and more games, is that you don't actually need those cores hardware side. You can actually just grab an old, uh, an old GPU that you have, for example, the RX 580, the RX 5500 XT, the 5700 XT and you can or even the Vega 56 and you can just use FSR on those old cards okay that's a bonus because you don't need those hardware parts to run the, the FSR 2.0 and in most scenarios it is even as good or even better in terms of motion than Nvidia's DLSS so it is a win-win situation and now since it is open source it is even better it can be used on consoles they are already testing it so it is a win-win situation now as for fsr 3.0 it has to be better than 2.0 2.0 is massively better than fsr 1.0 and the 3.0 should be at least considerably better than the fsr 2.0 now if they are leaning towards the, um, the hardware side of things because let me see on the um, on the page they're using, I believe, the WMMA instructions that will be fused on a hardware level to help achieve better machine learning or DNN operations. Now, there aren't a lot of details provided, but this recent update in the LLVM could be a hint at a major graphics pipeline overall in the RDNA 3 GPUs. Now, it seems they're leaning towards the hardware-based machine learning for better FSR, and it should be better than the 2.0. What I think about this? Well, I won't dive, I won't deep dive on these news because you can simply go to the WCCF Tech article in the description, link in the description uh, and read more about it. But what I think about this is NVIDIA's DLSS 2.3, I believe, is basically on par with FSR 2.0, sometimes losing, sometimes winning, depending on the title. But FSR 2 is open source and does not need hardware base to run it. Okay, so you can run FSR on older cards, on cards that do not have the AI cores. FSR 2.0 does basically the same and doesn't need the AI cores. Now, what AMD could do with FSR 3.0, in my opinion, was to give you the option of, of basically using your AI cores to enhance the FSR 3.0 ability or not. Basically, if you are using the FSR 3.0 uh, on, on older GPUs, you will most likely have this, the same performance because those GPUs are not prepared or you will have an increase in performance, but uh, not that much. While if you're using the AI cores, well, then the increase in performance will be much higher. And that will kind of make it uh, a broader selection because you could use older GPUs as well. But I think that AMD will kind of use um, the FSR 3.0 for the, for the new GPUs only, okay? And the FSR 2.0, which is very nice already, will be put for the older GPUs as well. Because that's how it works. If you want to actually push things forward, you can't just keep sticking with older hardware, okay? You just can't. And you need, sometimes you need hardware base to run some kind of software. The same for ray tracing. You can't just run ray tracing via software because it will suck. You need a hardware base. And if FSR 3.0 is actually running on a hardware base, 
well, you'll have two things. You'll have way better image reconstruction, and the second, the second one is that the, um, the performance gains will be way higher because you have a hardware base just for that. So that's pretty nice to hear. But well, overall, just take this with a grain of salt, with a big grain of salt, because we know nothing about it, uh, apart from some leaks. But it will, it would be really interesting if we had a major performance uplift together with a major uh, visual fidelity uplift. That, that would be very nice. But it is what it is. Now, I will also release today, mostly, most likely today, a video of the RX 6700 XT versus the 6800 versus the 6950 XT. So don't miss it. It will be nice. As for all, let me know in the comment section what you think about. FSR 3.0 being hardware based or not, if you think it should be hardware based, if you think they should actually uh, leave you the option uh, to run it on older GPUs even though you wouldn't have much performance increase, well just let me know what you think because I really want to know. Thanks a lot for watching, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and share this video and see you in the next one.